this is Jessica and Brittany with Blanc Box and today we are going to take you through the steps on how to decorate a mantle using one of our Blanc Boxes. This is a new thing that we are launching this year, mantle boxes. Some of you that um, have been following us may be familiar with our fall mantle boxes. Um, this is our first time doing Christmas mantle boxes so we're going to just kind of take you through a general way to style a box. Um, so first, obviously, you're gonna start with your garland. Yeah. Um, most of you for a mantle will need two pieces of garland. So we're starting with two. Yeah, you want your garland to hang off of your mantle. It always looks best that way. We are doing our five foot juniper garland we're using. And so the, this garland comes with like a browned end. So obviously that's going in the middle because you don't want that hanging off the end of your mantle. And you don't have to, you can wire your, um, your garland together. You don't have to. It may depend on the depth of your mantle. Sometimes if you have a thinner depth um, mantle, you may want to wire it. It just depends. But we like our garland to hang off. It gets really pretty this way. Mm -hmm. And just kind of eyeball your ends. Yeah. Try to get them pretty close to being um, the same. And we always bend the corners. So it hangs really pretty. Yeah, you can kind of manipulate this garland pretty easily so you can bend it and flex and all that good stuff. You so, want some pieces to hang yeah. off a little bit. This garland's very easy to work with. If you move something, it's going to stay. Okay. And so the next thing that we um, do is our picks. So this particular box that we're decorating um, has some of these berry picks. Now these stems are very long. Um, so if you have a really heavy duty cutter, you can try to cut them, but most people don't and that's okay. So what we'll do, um, you can hide the stems throughout the garland. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So you may just have to kind of bend the stems a little bit yeah. to and get them placed where you want and them. And if you look at the, at, the, at the spray, there's a front and there's a back. We definitely want our front out, okay? That way you can see all of your berries. So we're gonna kind of start in the middle. And so this side of the mantle, you're gonna want your berries coming this direction. This side, you want your berries coming this direction. Same thing with all the fillers that we're placing. And it's nice to have them hanging off of the mantle a little. It's pretty to have that little drape in there. And you can kind of um, play around, get them to kind of poke up and fluff a little bit. We're going to add another one. Just keep on going with this pattern. Um, sometimes it's nice, like, so we had this one under. Sometimes it's nice to do maybe another one under right here. And in between these two, if you have enough, you can put one over. It's going to create a little more height for your mantle. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Can we do that? We can zoom in after, but okay. Okay. All right, how many do we have of these? I guess we'll just bring these in the in the back a little bit. Yeah. So this is gonna give your mantle a little more height here by having them kind of at the top like that. I'm just gonna place it up there because we have other ones. So our next filler we're gonna put in. So we have two and two of these. So, let's see. How many? Yeah, we only have three, four total of these. So there's going to be one up here in the middle. We don't. Okay, so same thing with these. want to bend them, you can bend them, you're not going to hurt them. Bend them, have them kind of hanging off of the side of the mantle. And then we're going to place them in the middle. Kind of give our middle a little bit of a um, um, fluff in the middle. Close to the middle. Okay. Um, and then the next thing we're going to go ahead and do would be our hydrangea. And so like one thing I'll tell you is that we like to start off with some of the bigger items first 
and then you work your way to the smaller items. Um, so we're gonna put our hydrangea in there. We could really probably do, I mean, you can style them however you want, but it might be pretty to have two in the middle. And then like one to the side. And so we just kind of, you are welcome to, to wire these, but we kind of stuff them because the man, our mail is deep enough to do this. And you bend the stem a little bit and just kind of slide it through. Slide it in there. So as I do this, Britt's going to take our last little filler, which is our smallest filler, and it truly does do what it says. It kind of fills in the holes. So it's, um, we're going to place that throughout the um, mantle. And so there's really no um, exact science to this. You can place your flowers, your fillers, however you want. I do find like if you kind of stagger it, it, it is a little more aesthetically pleasing and um, gives the mantle a little more dimension. Um, and so we're gonna just kind of place these throughout the mantle here and there just like we did everything else. And don't be afraid to stuff them in there. You really can't hurt I mean, any I, of this. These are really thin. What you can do is what I was doing. I'm kind of doing one at the top, and then I do one at the bottom, one at the top, one at the bottom. It's like a little pattern. You really cannot mess it up. If you don't like something, you just take it out and move it. You don't have to be afraid. It's very simple and easy. Okay. And the last thing that we're going to do to this mantle piece, I already cut three yards of our satin ribbon in red. And I'm gonna tie a little bow at the end. I fold it in half. And I'm, I'm just really tying a bow, tying a bow at the edge. And like we said, you can't mess this up and feel free to kind of play on what we're telling you to do. Um, this is just a few little guidelines to follow, but you can do, you can play around and make it your own for sure. And don't be afraid to try new things. You could um, add the ribbon throughout the mantle if you prefer that look. We're just going for a simple classic look here, but um, adding ribbon throughout is not a bad thing. We're going to show you another tutorial on how to do that next. So be sure to watch that one if that's the style that you prefer. Yep, and that's that. That is and that is that. That's how you style a blonde box mantle. And we'll do a little video close up. You guys can see it close up. We'll um, show you all the, details. all the details in it. Yes. And so we appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. You can head to our website, www.shopblancbox.com to purchase any of this. And, um, Follow us on social media. Reach out if you have questions. We're happy to help. Bye. Bye. Thank you.